Welcome back. You want to do some mad science today? I do. This tree right here is a Granny Smith apple, which I transplanted. Bare root because it's that time of year. However, there's not another apple out here. And even apples that are self-pollinators tend to do better if they have a pollinator. So I've got four different types of apple cyan wood right here. Rather than buying another apple tree, which is always a good idea, but I'm not going to do it. This is not my yard. I am going to graft on some cyan wood and make one of these branches something completely different. Maybe both of them. And then what do we have? We have a separate individual capable of pollinating the tree. Separate individual capable, capable of pollinating the tree. So one branch can be a different individual. Isn't that crazy cool? It is, it's awesome. Trust me, it's awesome. All right, so apples are super easy to graft. They actually are one of the easiest ones to, to graft out of any fruit trees. Probably the next easiest would be loquat that I've done. Peaches are very easy too. I don't use a fancy grafting knife. I use regular old nice retractable utility knife. People are afraid of grafting, but it's not hard. I did a video, a full on, full demonstration video if you have not seen it. It's called Get Grafting. You can lose your fear of grafting, really. You don't have to be afraid of it. It's just like transplanting a branch onto a different tree. You know. I am doing what is called a whip and tongue. Because I, if you're just by yourself doing grafting, it is a really easy one to do because it sticks by itself. Yeah, line your cambium up. Oh yes, there we go. And see, it holds by itself. It's not like some of the graphs where you're trying to do it and you fight with that sucker. This is just flagging tape, like for marking construction sites. I want something to tie this together really tight. So all the cambium pulls together and it doesn't get knocked off when a bird sits on it. Hopefully. <laughs> birds are not your friends with grafting. Otherwise, I love birds, but in this particular instance, I have seen birds come and land on my newly grafted cyan wood. They're like, oh, this is great. What a great place to stand. And they will misalign it, and you need this thing to heal together and not get misaligned. It's very important that the cambium, which is a layer right beneath the bark, responsible for ma making both new wood and bark, it's important that that cambium is matching up. And if you come by here and jar it, or if when you're tying it, you're not careful about how you tie it and it goes sideways, your chances are way lower. The less cambium touching, the less chance that that graft takes. Now, this might just take just like this, but I also like to get this weird tarry substance. It's called tree coat. It's a wound sealer. And the thing I like it for is that it 
it creates an impermeable coating that keeps the air from getting into it because most graphs will fail. If it's not the cambium, the other thing that makes them fail is that they dry out. A, a dried out graft is a dead graft. It can't heal together. It needs to it needs to stay moist inside. That is super important. So I coat it with this stuff and I coat any cut areas. There's a cut at the end here that I'll cover. But any open wound I will cover. And that right there should work. Now I have grafted a pollinator branch. This is probably from the Dolgo crab apple onto a Granny Smith. So I have two good pie varieties. This branch will bear those crab apples. This branch will bear Granny Smith unless I decide that I'm going to change that in the future. This part right here I want to make a new leader and that'll be Granny Smith. But this one branch right here is enough to pollinate the entire tree. And that Granny Smith in turn should pollinate it. Pretty easy. So check out the Get Grafting video if you get a chance and also check out my book Free Plants for Everyone, The Good Guide to Plant Propagation, which you'll find very entertaining if you like doing this sort of thing. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I buried my rabbit beneath the cherry tree One fine afternoon Someday I know that we'll meet again On a fruit salad spoon